Okay. Ready? You gonna go in? What do you think? What do you think? In you. What do you think? Huh? Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is uh, your regular EV dad, John. I hope you're having a great day. Please do subscribe to the channel and also look for us on LinkedIn and Twitter. Today, we're doing a review with a little bit of a difference. If you've been uh, following the channel, you'll know that we do have a number of dogs and we travel with them. And uh, as such, today's review is going to be on the Your Power, You Are Power dog seat cover with mesh viewing window. Now, um, let me just go into the reasons why I chose this. This is gonna cover the entire seat back and it's a little bit different in how it does that. Um, but this is because whilst one of my dogs will always be crated, uh, my dogs are always crated, people I'm traveling with uh, in, in an upcoming trip, uh, only one of theirs, they have an older girl and she's actually just gonna chill out on the back seat with a safety harness on connected to the seat belt around her chest. So, um, this is, uh, this is to, to, to keep the rest of the car in, intact. And I am going to, in my first attempt at fitting this, try and do this over the existing ID4 custom seat protector. Uh, so uh, join with me and let's see how this goes. So lighting something like this is kind of difficult in a car which has got an all black uh, interior. But we do what we can. So let me just move the driver's seat fairly forward. And uh, bef before we start, by the way, if you're wondering, um, how much room there is in an ID4. Uh, in terms of cargo capacity, there's any number of official metrics, cubic feet and the like, but I would ask you to consider this. I had in here the other day, two full bales of mixed grass, what we called field mix, um, and I'll be reducing it removing it uh, continuously for the next couple of weeks, I have no doubt. Um, uh, when I said that uh, I consider all my vehicles to be semi-agricultural, now you know I was serious. Now a true professional would start again after the UPS driver walked through the back of his shot. I'm not a true professional. <laughs> So, a couple of parts to this. Um, there is a, um, uh, we won't, let me be clear about this. We won't be using this. Included in the pack are these seat belt connectors that will go onto a collar. If you have an accident and you get pulled by the neck, it doesn't bear thinking about. So those will be going in the trash. Dogs that travel with me will do so with a full chest harness to distribute the forces. Now, I am uh, going to fit this over the Volkswagen protector because I'm not too worried about additional heat. Um, I'm worried about containing mess. Now, one of the reasons why I chose this one, and this was highlighted in the reviews is the fact that it has, and hopefully this is visible, a mesh area in the front, which given the fact that our main source of uh, air conditioning is gonna come from here, uh, I consider it to be essential. We wanna get as much cold air into the back of the vehicle as possible. So it's a, uh, it's also got other straps as well for side protection and all those kind of things. What's interesting is essentially they pack it inside out. And I say that because we know we want the plush side up. Now, let me first of all say that, uh, you know, this is not unattractive. It's a um, very, very, very dark blue. And I mean, it's basically black, but it's very, very dark blue. 
and you'll see in a minute why I've chosen this. So let me just throw these up and over. This may not be the most exciting part of the video, where the hands come through, but it is essential. So all we're doing here is clipping this around the headrests. And then I'll just show you, you don't need to do it on both sides. We're then going to clip it to the headdress on this side. Let's say what, so I don't have to come around, I'll do this one first. Trick is not to kneel on it while you're moving it. <laughs> now, this is great. We've basically created a hammock. Uh, we're still going to use the storage space uh, here for for our uh, for our human gear. Um, we're going to put stuff down the side of the crate in the back. There's going to be a dog in the back uh, and also uh, the older dog here. We're going to put stuff um, in, in here. But we've got, as I said, we've got this mesh bit here so the dog can see through should it wish to. Not that it can't see over. But we get as much air, unrestricted airflow through here as possible. And then this is my personal favorite bit. And I'll have to work out exactly how this is going to work. I think, I think this will work. And now we have what I would call full containment. This isn't going to stop the dog from, this isn't, this isn't going to stop us getting nose marks on the window by any stroke of the imagination. But my hope is it will make for a comfortable environment for the dog. It'll mean the stuff doesn't, you know, we can throw toys back here, food, whatever, you know, snacks, and they're gonna stay here. Um, that's the main thing. What gets put here will stay here. It'll allow us to use the, 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 the rest of the space. Uh, she's gonna have plenty of space in here as well. Let me just go into the, the quality. So, I mean, it's, it's I'm gonna call it leather et, uh, it's not, It's um, a backed cotton substance, but it's, 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 pre it's pretty strong. The stitching is, I will say the stitching is quite strong. We have got some storage pockets here, um, but I'm, with, with the two layers of protection, I'm absolutely fine, and I will, uh, with putting her water back here. Um, you know, th this isn't gonna be a, a concern for me. And that's why this thing wasn't expensive. I'll put a link to it in the, the description. It already had good reviews. I'm going to be honest. It's going to be getting another one. So with that, you're going to get a bonus review. Let me show you what we have also in the back. So this is where I'm going to do my hand model piece for you. So it's made by a company called Govee, G-O-V-E-E. -E. This was less than 20 bucks on Amazon. And it's a Bluetooth temperature and humidity uh, checker. And it's incredibly accurate. And the reason you're seeing it in the back here, and I just to stop it going anywhere I connect it either on here or usually just to the seat patch, is it tells me the temperature back here. We're going to be driving through 90 degree deserts for three days. Well, not just the desert for three days, but it's going to be 90 on a lot of the days. And whilst I do have Mylar going onto the back windscreen, and I'll do a quick video on that just to show you how I do that to keep the temperature, keep the heat out. I do want to know what it's like back here. Whilst we'll be stopping frequently for charging and water breaks, I want to know if there's a spike in temperature. And this has a small app. There's no internet connectivity. It works over Bluetooth. And it will tell me 
when the temperature in the back gets above 72 degrees or when it actually gets to 72 degrees so we can take action. I want to be clear, I love my kid, but I also love our dogs. And I consider this to be the minimum amount of care you should take when road tripping with them. And with that, thank you for watching. Please comment, ask questions uh, in the things, and do follow us on Facebook and Twitter uh, at Regular EV Dad. Have a great day. Okay. Ready? You gonna go in? What do you think? What do you think? In you. What do you think? Huh? What do you think? What do you think? Does it work? Does it work? You silly sausage. So, there are holes not for you to dig in. In the bottom, that actually marry up with with the seat belts. And I have to say, <laughs> you to go for a ride? You can go for a ride. <laughs> I gotta say, I think, I think he likes it. I think he likes it. All right, well, for me, regular EV dad and co-pilot gambler, you have yourself a great day. <laughs> hey, you silly sausage.